I want to take you to Fox News Alert now. UC Berkeley is in turmoil tonight, real turmoil, as rioters set fires and force the cancellation of a speech by writer Milo Yiannopoulos. Fox's Trace Gallagher has more on what's going on there tonight. Trace? And if you look at these pictures, Tucker, you can see, I mean, these guys are burning flags. They are busting windows. Right now, the entire campus at UC Berkeley is on lockdown. The police are trying to disperse the crowd, but so far, they're not going anywhere. You can see the fire right there. The, the teachers or the administrators are up on top of the building trying to spray fire extinguishers down. This was all over a speech by Milo Yiannopoulos. As you said earlier, he, of course, is a Breitbart writer. And, and the push tonight was to start this push so, so that campuses like UC Berkeley that are considered sanctuary campuses, which means they harbor illegal immigrants. They will not work with the federal government when it comes to illegal immigrants. They were trying to start this push to get federal dollars taken away from these UC campuses. Anybody who does not know, Janet Napolitano, who is the former uh, head of Department of Homeland Security, former Arizona governor, she is now the president of the UC system. And right after Donald Trump was elected, she made this push to start this sanctuary campus policy that they would not comply with the feds. And what the Republicans on campus and what this speech was about tonight was to try and get this campus and other UC campuses get federal dollars taken away from them if they are not going to abide by federal law. This speech was supposed to start tonight at around 6 o'clock. Well, they canceled it at 5 o'clock. The riots really began around that same time. And now you can see the crowd, it seems to be dispersing. Half the signs are anti-Milo signs. The other half are anti-Trump signs. So there's clearly a bigger issue going on here. Uh, uh, the young Republicans on campus who are putting this thing on were told they could have the speaker, but they would have to pay the cost of the extra security. And they said, fine. But of course, the protests, as you can see, have been ongoing now for a couple of hours. And police are having a difficult time trying to disperse this crowd. But the entire campus remains on lockdown tonight, except for these people who apparently won't leave. Tucker. So, Trace, what exactly are we looking at? Do you know? We've got uh, pictures here which are either live or just briefly delayed, and it appears to be <clears throat> some kind of vehicle. I can't tell what it is. Uh, that is, it's a husk, a burned out husk. What is that? Yeah, I mean, it, it is. It's like a. It, it, I, I, to be honest, I don't know what that vehicle is. It looks like there's a wheel on top. I don't know if that is some kind of a vehicle. If, if you know, Jessica, just yell out at me. But, but I know they've been, you can see pictures earlier, they're up and they're slamming and busting into the windows. They've been throwing stuff at the police officers around there. They've been carrying protest signs around. They've been lighting flags on fire. And when one fire is put out, they go up and they light another one. Uh, right now, they look to be just kind of standing around. But there is clearly an element of this crowd that is trying to stir things up. They think it's partly teachers. There are a lot of students there, and there are a lot of outsiders that came specifically to protest Milo Yiannopoulos' speech tonight on campus. So th the breakdown, we don't know. Some of these pictures are from earlier. This is, this is not the campus. That's in downtown Berkeley itself. You can see the campus right there. And when they kind of widen out, you can see that there is a fairly sizable crowd on hand for this. And again, it. It looks like it could be some kind of a cart that was overturned and then lit on fire, but, but quite honestly, I'm unclear. A trailer of some sort, maybe a, right. like a food trailer of, of some sort that might be Tucker. With the tires burned off. These pictures are a little confusing, yeah. Trace, because there's no evident law enforcement presence. People are standing around this burning vehicle like it's a campfire. You don't where are the cops here? It's, they're there. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to see them, but we've been watching this for a while now. They're there. I just don't know what, exactly where they are. I mean, they were inside the building. They were on top of the building. Uh, they were surrounding this, but they are certainly not being aggressive. I mean, look, you're talking about UC Berkeley. The protests here go back 50, 60 years, right? They do this on a, right, on a pretty but, regular basis, and they knew this was going to happen. Go ahead, Tucker. We, we don't, I don't think we have the pictures right here, but earlier we had shots of protesters trying to ram something through a, uh, through a glass barricade, through a, a, a glass door, um, which does seem a little uh, over the top. Has anyone been arrested, do we know? Um, and how's the state we don't responding know. to this, the city or the city of Berkeley? We don't know of any arrests so far. We have not heard of any arrests so far. 
we know that, and you can, I don't know if that's tape or live, that's got to be, that's videotape from earlier. You can see they keep lighting these. We don't know of any arrests so far, but again, this is all kind of a fluid thing. We don't know the response from the state. I mean, UC Berkeley has its own force. They've brought right. in some, we know they've brought in some local police from around the area to patrol this, but they're, they're kind of in a, in a backed off position right now. They, uh, they've told people that this, to, to leave, this is kind of a, a lockdown situation. But as right. far as tear gas, as far as going after and pushing some of these, these kids away and these teachers and whoever else might be a part of this crowd away, we haven't seen right. that yet, but we do know no. there is a police presence. Yeah, well, this is the new posture of American law enforcement during riots, hands off. Um, and, and just to recap, so this began, um, and as you noted, there are probably a bunch of different causes for this, but it was, it was certainly precipitated right. by a speech uh, that was supposed to be given by Milo Yiannopoulos, who's a writer and a provocateur, a, con a conservative, um, among other things. Where's he? Do we know? He, he's gone. I mean, he left. So he was supposed to speak, and he actually made it on campus, but he left. As soon as, the, as soon as this stuff got kind of violent and they started lighting the fires, they escorted him out. So we were told about 45 minutes ago that Milo Yiannopoulos was gone. He had left the building, and they canceled the speech, and that was that. But these guys didn't leave. The protesters stayed on. And right. when they were told to, to push back, they kept getting a little more violent and started breaking things, started lighting things. And now you can see they're just kind of milling around. But there, is, there are certainly some agitators there that are trying to cause some trouble. Right. So, so the people who committed violence got to speak, but the person who didn't had to leave. I guess that's maybe one of the lessons. In essence. Uh, in essence. Trace yeah. Gallagher, thanks a lot for that. Appreciate sure. it.